Ned Meat from the Clan Elias, bring you three stars from our Clan Wars. So the next attack I'm going to bring you from this war, it's actually the last one of this war. Now then, uh, it's on number 11, great attack. This was actually, I was, I was very impressed with this attack. It was in the last five minutes of the, um, well, it was actually in the last two or three minutes actually of the of the war, and it was a spare of the moment change of, of of tactic just to try and squeeze out the extra star, which turned out really well. So a lot of respect for Tosho on this one. Now, so looking at the base, well actually sorry, now we'll go down to the composition first. You can see. So basically he's got a golem in the clan castle, he's got three lavas, he's got 20 loons, and he's got some wizards and a couple of archers. Looking at his spells, he's got two rage, one jump, a poison, and two haste spells. So now, you can see the locations of the ADs are all the way around the edge, and I think that this is why Tosho specifically saw that it was quite vulnerable, especially to this kind of force, which is very well, well spotted by him as well. Now... He's only got the one golem, but that's actually all that's needed because what he wants to be doing is taking out that archer queen and by doing that as well, he'll take out that one AD and maybe distracting at the same time the um, expos and possibly taking out a, a, an air sweeper. So anything in that area, and obviously there's also three archer towers as well. So any of that that he can take out with his golem, his heroes, and with those wizards is a bonus. And then he then comes in onto each of these one lava and the loons to then well to to, to finish it all off. Let's uh, let's check out this attack. So he doesn't bother with the law, puts a golem straight down, followed by the wizards. You can see that the golem does start to take a little bit of a pounding here, but it doesn't really matter. There's a lot of life in it. And the point of what the golem is doing is just taking that focus for a bit. He's got his heroes coming in quite quickly and the wizards there already focusing on the dragon and the archer queen and king both coming in archer, the, the barb king going straight to the archer queen and at that point that has all then been taken out and, and pushing, starting to push into the middle there goes the air sweeper he's now coming in with the lava very well, good deployment there of the balloons as well I think the fact that the, the air defense are all spread out like this, he put the two loons at the bottom here first to get the attention from the air sweeper, which is a very, very, very good move. And still that that, that, that focus is still happening whilst the uh, lava's there and then the, another straight from the top there as well. Very, very quickly, all of the ADs have gone down. That means that there's then very little left. Um, and you can see he's still got a lot of balloons there. Use the haste as well, just to just to help speed up those balloons. The balloons do so much damage that actually haste almost is good enough. The rage is good, but if you've got some rather large clusters of balloons, then haste is fine because they do so much damage on their own anyway. It's also a very good job in this situation that the lavas have popped because the pups then are helping on the cleanup. When it's just the balloons, then they're very slow. Yeah, so that's about that. We'll then fast forward it. It's already a solid win there. Great th three star there by Tosha and it was under pressure as well so well done for that mate that was absolutely brilliant. Cool so yeah hope you enjoyed that that's the last one of this war but we've got another war which uh, we'll be uploading as well. Well we war, we war three times a week so there's going to be many wars and many many three stars to come. Um, so yes yeah, so subscribe to the channel share like uh, comment and come and join us for a war if you fancy it as well. We're always up for having guests as well. Guest, guest, guest stars, should we say? Cool. Hope you enjoyed it.